All right, so this is gonna be a video, a video guide about how to do coin duplication with the dino. Now, we're gonna be going into this room right here. It's next to the Odyssey, as you can see. It's right up here. There's the moon that you get in any percent. We come right around back and come into this room here. Now, what? Well, first I'll just show an example of what you might normally expect. So, we come over to here, we might wanna, you know, take these fuzzies, fuzzy guys take these, and then we come up to this block right here, this small one, is gonna normally give us eight coins. Let's see how many coins we get from it. And I think that was eight. Uh, so, what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to duplicate the coins that we get out of that to have a possible maximum of 48 coins. We can have any multiple of 8 up to 48, so we can have 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, but uh, obviously we're going to hope for 48 coins. So let's see if I can do that right here. And I think that was, I think that was exactly 48. Now, this is useful for coin dupli or uh, for coin grinding. Uh, this is the single best room to do coin grinding in. For like 100%, for instance, there's a lot of coin grinding in that. And obviously, nipple percent, which is where I come from. I'm the world record holder at the time of making this at 9.57. Uh, and yeah, so coin grinding is very useful. Uh, or to do optimal coin grinding will be very useful for uh, having faster times. Oh my god, these guys so loud and annoying. Uh, so, obviously this is a good trick to know, but to be honest, I've tried to make this video multiple times, and I keep trying to be too precise with my words, trying to be too specific, so I'm just gonna instruct. So don't take anything I say too literally, it is just meant to be a guide to help understand, and then you will do your own testing and trial and error and fill in the blanks for yourself, because there's no way I'm gonna be able to teach. There's, there's no perfect visual cue, there's no perfect technique for this, it's all position-based, and so you're just gonna have to figure that out for yourself. Now, there is a thing that I like to think about, and this might be tied to why it actually works, but what I like to do when I do this trick is I like to get one foot to step real close to this corner. You see how I'm close to the corner? I'm like facing it, it's right underneath the dino's belly, this corner, and once one foot is close and the other foot I was, I was running out of time, but you saw some duplication happening there. So, uh, I step one foot close to the corner, and then I move closer at a slow speed, you know, we're not charging or anything. Uh, we go at a slow speed, and bring our other foot closer to kind of trap the corner in between both feet like that on the way there so there's again there's no perfect visual cue it's not like oh you hit it at this perfect time here it's just kind of like make sure that you have one foot stepping close and you bring the other foot close, or you bring the other foot in to meet. And it doesn't matter which foot you lead with. Like right now it should be perfect to, like I'm gonna have to turn right a little bit as I bring my right foot into the lead, but that should just work. And I got, uh, was that 32? 32 coins, so not bad. Not bad duplication right there. But obviously we're gonna need some kind of setup for it because we can't just it's not gonna be very fast to just go up to the block eye it eye it up and you know do that so we need some sort of setup now just running at the block straight as fast as we can is not really gonna work 
Right, we just get eight coins because we're not really setting anything up. We're not doing anything special. Sometimes you can get more coins out of it. Uh, and that's where you might think of it as being luck-based. But we need, to, we need to create a setup here. So what I like to do is... Let me just show it. All right, it kind of worked. Let me show it one more time. I think I got 32 out of it, so not bad. But I want to get, I want to get a good example of a 48. And again, because Dino movement in this game is pretty janky and it's hard to tell exactly where the foot hitboxes are, it is gonna be hard to do no matter what. There we go. That was a really good one. So let me take that footage and explain exactly what I'm doing along the way for you guys in slow motion. All right, so this is a pretty exact setup here, so listen up. I first start by heading straight towards the middle of this little hill here. No further left, no further right, really, just the middle of it. And then I turn right immediately after touching the top of it, and then charge as I turn left, slow down, and squeeze the corner with both legs. It's all important. All of that is important. Go over the hill, turn right, charge to get more uh, more fuzzy guys, as well as I think it affects foot position slightly. As you turn left and slow down, and hit the corner. Alright, so now that we're back in, in live... <laughs> live explanation uh, let me share with you guys some dangers that you might come across so when I go over this hill I just do this and once I do a foot once I step down with my left foot let me try to recreate this uh, this is gonna be terrible but yeah once I step down with my left foot yeah I do a charge right well and that was actually a really perfect improvised uh, setup there. So, uh, I'm, I surprised myself with that one. But, uh, once I step over this, sometimes if you're too far right, you'll, instead of stepping down the hill, you'll fall off the hill. Like, let me try to create this. Uh, let me just reset, because the dinos can respawn. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So if you're too far right of where I suggest you be, you'll fall off the hill like that. In which case, you'll want to come around the backside and hit the corner on the back. Now that wasn't a good example. Let me let me show you a good example of how to back it up. Because what falling off the edge does is it pauses your foot movement. It pauses like it ruins our setup because we need to keep our foot movement the same every time to get the right s oh I'm doing I'm doing the setup let's just do another example of it I guess uh, so we need to keep our foot movement the exact same every time or nearly the same to be able to get the setup working again right so if we are too far right on this hill that screws it up in which case we need to do a backup setup and that's coming around this backside and doing it to that corner, right? And I think that was perfect coins too. So that was a really good, uh, really good show of what, of how to back it up. And both of these are gonna require practice to understand. But if you're going for super optimization, it's gonna be good to know it. So that's really good. That's actually the way I used to do it. I used to do this way all the time. But I, for whatever reason, I stopped liking it. I'm not really sure why, because I'm still good at it. Uh, it is slightly slower, very slightly slower than the other way. But it also does make sure that you get all of the fuzzy guys. So, I mean, oops, I'm doing this way. And, like, if, if you want to get all the fuzzy guys, you can do that too. And I mean, it's just... A matter of preference, really. Uh, oops. 
but yeah. So, you're just gonna, any blanks you have, any, you know, you'll need to fill in the blanks for yourself just by playing it yourself. Uh, what else could I help fix? Uh, there's another way that I fail sometimes, and that's if I'm too far right. Like, let me show you the positioning that I get to sometimes. Right here. Sometimes I'm right here, and I'm too far right when I swing my left foot into it again. Maybe this will work, maybe it won't. Yeah, that didn't work too well. Uh, it still kind of worked, though. I think I got 24 coins out of it, but a lot of the time in that position, you'll only get 8 coins, and that's bad. We want to stay away from 8 as much as possible. We want to at least duplicate some coins every time. So, being in this position where you are... Oops, I did it correctly. <laughs> Oops, I did it correctly. Uh. So, if you're too far right, sometimes what happens is you'll end up only hitting the block with your left foot. Let me try really hard to fail here. Like that, kind of. You'll only hit the block with your left foot. And sometimes, it looks like you should even be doing it correctly, but you're just far enough away that what actually happens is you're only hitting the block with your left foot. So if you find yourself that you're only getting eight coins using this setup, that's probably why. You're going too far right by the time that you end. Like, that was decent. That was 32. Uh, I was trying really hard to emphasize going left on purpose at the end there. Uh, but yeah, just try to find a perfect setup for you, find something that feels good to maneuver yourself, to snake your way in, to be able to still be fast, and enclose the corner with both your feet. I think that was kind of a fail that time. Uh, but yeah, good luck, and uh, I guess, yeah, just keep trying. Uh, but there is actually one more area that you might want to do coin grinding on. It's not its not really coin grinding, but just do a coin duplication on. And it's done in nipple percent. It's these three blocks right here, and I think it could be very useful in 100% anytime you're coming through this area. Uh, because it takes like an extra five seconds to do properly, and you, instead of getting only 24 coins, you can get over a hundred if you do it right, and it only takes five extra seconds, yeah, that's worth it. So, what you're gonna wanna do here is basically just hold right while charging, or sprinting, I like to charge at the very end of it though. Put my right foot, like, on the edge here, and then swing around, and swing around again. Now I'll do that faster, I'll load this up and do it faster in, in full motion, but I, I did still get uh, a decent amount of coins from it. Anyway, uh, let me load this up again. I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. So, in full motion, here we go. Oops, I did the last block too soon. But I got a lot of coins from it, as you saw. Uh, so that's basically how it goes. Once you get over here, once I put my right foot, like, right on the edge, I just swing around and swing one more time to enclose the corner of the block with my right foot. Uh, let me load it one more time and explain why we do this. Alright, we're back. So as you can see, from this position where Mario is right now, we actually have to go upwards towards these blocks if we're to come from this direction. And because of that, we're not actually really able to hit these blocks with the dino's foot hitboxes very well. It act we actually end up destroying these blocks too soon with the dino's head and other hitboxes. Uh, and again, that's because we're coming uphill and the dino's head will hit these blocks as we're coming towards them before we end up going all the way over. We need to stay above that, which is why we come around here 
so that the head hitboxes and everything else can't really touch it on our way through here. Now, we can actually kind of get it to work anyway, but it's not as consistent. Like, we can get up to like 60 coins out of these uh, by just going into it. Let me try to give an example, if I can remember it. A kind of setup for it. Something like that. That was pretty good, I think. A uh, pretty good example of that, but... And while that definitely is faster, at least for nipple percent, it's definitely more useful to come around here and do this setup. Uh, but just as long as you do something on your way through here, uh, you're able to get a lot more coins, so keep that in mind as well. To be honest, I don't know of any other locations at all. I mean, there's there's one coin block up here, actually, that I know of that gives eight coins rather than just one. Like, there's a lot of blocks that only give one coin, which is why we skip a lot of them. Like that, we only get one coin. But there's this one, oops, this one right in front of Mario, that actually gives eight coins as well. Let me see if that respawned, yep. Yeah. So the dino's back, let me destroy it. So this one actually gives eight coins as well, which means that we can duplicate it. Uh, we, we can duplicate single coins too, it's just not very worth it. Uh, so, but this one's not very useful either. So, if there's any other locations at all through the playthrough. I don't know. These are the only three places where I've ever seen blocks give more than one coin. So there could be very good use other places for this trick as well in Super Mario Odyssey potentially. But these are the ones that I know of and these are how to... These two locations really are the only useful ones to know about. So there you go. Sorry it's kind of long, but uh, I feel like the parts that were necessary, there were a lot of parts, there were just a lot of parts that were necessary. <laughs> uh.